Hey everybody, my name is Adam. Today I have a tutorial for you that was based off of a user suggestion. So uh, this user right here uh, was looking for an answer to how to create a essentially a preset. Uh, so we're going to create a development preset today and essentially showcase to this user how you can take a preset and then you can apply that preset to an entire folder of images. Um, so it's a really super fast process. It's not complicated at all and enables you to basically copy edits from one image to as many images as you want, hundreds even. So let's follow the user's criteria to make a development preset. To follow the user's language, we will be making a macro. This will allow me to apply this development preset to different images in the click of a button. I have opened an image. I'm going to follow the user's suggested edits. First up, he wants to make some sharpness changes. To sharpen, we'll navigate to the Detail tab. We'll increase the amount to 30, the radius to 14, the detail to 67, and the threshold to 50. Next, we'll increase the clarity. To do this, we need to navigate to the General Tune tab. We'll increase the clarity to 24. Now, we're going to make some noise adjustments. We'll navigate to the Detail tab once more and click Noise Reduction. We'll set Luminance to 38, Strength to 38, Color Noise to 30, and we'll leave the tonal range and frequency range to 50. Lastly, let's finish up our adjustment with vibrance and saturation adjustments. I'll navigate back to the general tune tab, increasing vibrance to 4 and saturation to 7. Okay, now that the settings have been made, we will now need to save this as a preset so it can be applied to our other images. Click the wheel icon. Click Save Preset. Because we've been very selective with our adjustments, we're going to simply click Select All. Select All will save every single adjustment we've made. Make sure to select the individual effects if you plan on omitting any adjustments. I'll enter a name at the bottom here. Okay, now that the preset has been saved, let's navigate to Manage Mode and show how this can be applied to a folder of images. I'll navigate to this Test folder. I will select all the images in it by using Control A. I'll navigate to the Batch icon, click Batch Develop. We'll select the exact development we made, if I use the export files to another format checkbox here, I can click options and change the file format or a file location. In this case, I won't change anything here though. I'm happy with just applying the developments to the current images. I'll click develop. Once the development icon appears in the thumbnail, the process is complete. Please like this video, subscribe and click the bell icon, and most importantly, please comment with suggestions of what you'd like me to cover next. Take care.